as evidence of just how important SUVs have become to premium car makers' balance sheets. Consider this. Audi's best-selling car worldwide is not the A3 hatchback or even the A4 sedan, but the Q5. This mid-sized SUV is the first generation, and since it first hit the market in 2008, more than 1.6 million have been sold. The BMW X3, Volvo XC60, and Mercedes-Benz GLK class were in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. The 2011 Audi Q5 has many problem areas, including airbags, engine timing, oil consumption, and so on. Overall, the 2011 Audi Q5 got five recalls and 194 complaints, which is a lot. Let's take a closer look at the 2011 Q5 issues. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Mechanical Problems Failures of the timing chain are said to be a frequent issue with the Audi Q5. Given the disastrous outcomes in this situation, the repair costs are quite high, and the Audi Q5's issues with oil consumption rank among the worst of all the issues with this vehicle. Because of the lack of lubrication, this results in oil starvation, which can lead to engine failure. The car's fuel injection system has been linked to numerous engine issues that have been reported. The fuel pump, the injectors, and the flange may all be to blame for these problems. This has an effect on numerous owners. The cylinder head cracked, which was another issue. Numerous owners have also mentioned parking brake problems. The car can roll back down a slope even with the brake applied. Transmission issues with the Audi Q5 have been reported by several owners. At times, the car jerks and hesitates when shifting. The change of gears is not smooth. There is a fuel smell inside the car, according to numerous users. The fuel pump flange has been identified as the source of the issue, and the recall addresses it. Power steering failures have also been reported by numerous owners. The problems range from power steering leaks to rack and pinion failures. Many cars accelerate erratically as a result of an ABS module fault. In this situation, the car jerks and stalls. The brakes being too stiff is frequently present along with this. Safety problems. The airbag has been the subject of the most complaints about the Audi Q5 which has one of the worst common issues. It is a part of the most significant recall in recent memory and was produced by Takata, an airbag manufacturer. The main problem is that the manufacturer takes longer than necessary to resolve the problems. For more than a year, many owners have been in the dark regarding a recall. Many owners have not received enough safety in the event of an accident as a result of the defective airbags. Electrical system problems. A few customers have reported that the MMI infotainment system has failed. The doors have experienced electrical problems. It appears that the locking and unlocking mechanism is ineffective. Miscellaneous problems. The car's daytime running lights are one frequent source of issues. However, many owners have complained that the headlights are too dim for safe driving. This year, there aren't many complaints about the Audi Q5's panoramic sunroof. The majority of the time, they are related to improper seals. Recalls. There are five recalls for 2011 Audi Q5. Now you can see all of them on the screen. Should you buy used 2011 Audi Q5? The 2011 Audi Q5 has a 3.0 out of 5.0 reliability rating, which places it 11th out of 14 luxury midsize SUVs according to Repairpool.com. It has poor ownership costs because the average annual repair cost is $928. Although repairs happen frequently, major problems are rare. So you might make a few more trips to your shop for minor problems. Although the Audi Q5 has been successful in grabbing consumers' attention, its reliability record is not stellar. This is problematic because the manufacturer did not promptly address the car's problems, which made the owners very dissatisfied. 